Hi guys, Steph here. Okay, so I've had a, f a few messages and emails from people asking to see this particular pen from my recent pen haul. Now, for you people that are in the know, some of you will guess straight away what it is. Yes, it's a gorgeous Parker 51 fountain pen. Very briefly the Parker 51s came in lots of different colours, some of the more common ones, the blacks, the greys, uh, the burgundies, teal blue etc. But what we have in the Parker 51 range there is certain colours that are more desirable than others and this one is one of them. And what we have here is an absolutely gorgeous cocoa Parker 51 as you can see in this lovely sort of brown colour absolutely gorgeous now I fully restored it it had a couple of issues um, it's been fully disassembled everything's been cleaned inside the the uh, the nib the feed the collector uh, on this one the uh, breather tube was a stainless steel one it corroded it had it had holes in it so I've actually replaced the breather tube as well what you've also may have noticed is again for you people that watch my videos you'll see that I showed you this pen and it had a really bad wear mark around the clip here which unfortunately there's not a great deal you can actually do about um, apart from maybe getting it sort of re sort of shot blasted if you like but what I've actually done I've actually done one of my custom caps and this one is in this lovely sort of I would say like a heavy heavy brushed pattern and it gives it this gorgeous this sort of a matte looking um, effect a lot lot better than it was originally I believe. Again, there'll be people that are saying, oh, you've ruined a good cap. Well, maybe so, maybe not. In my opinion, this is now 100% better than it was. To the very bottom of the cap, let's keep it nice and still. You'll be able to still see it's got the word Parker. And then if I turn it round slightly, you'll see it has Made in USA. So this pen is made in the USA it's actually made in 1953 I'll tell you why in a moment the size of it from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel around about 137 millimeters capped around the barrel it's a tad below 12 millimeters in diameter now again let's go back to the cap in this gorgeous sort of my own custom um, brushed effect you'll see it still has the chrome the chrome arrow clip there in lovely clean condition and last but not least what I've actually done is actually we've put a I believe this is actually a moonstone it's a brown brown moonstone which I think complements this this cocoa barrel absolutely beautifully Let's show you again. So there you have it, a lovely moonstone jewel to the top, which again makes it that little bit different. Obviously makes it a one-off, it's a bespoke, a bespoke cap. Let's take the cap off. Let's show you the pen in numerous different angles. As I say, it's been fully restored, fully serviced internally, absolutely gorgeous. Um, what we'll do, we'll try and find a new home for it. Somebody will enjoy this pen for many years to come. So let's pop the cap back down. Again, you've got the hooded nib there. You've got the hood, as you can see there. You've got the nib to the very top. Let's give you a sideways view. There we go. Let's take you underneath the pen. And there you go. You can see the feed the nib, the collector inside and everything is all beautifully clean. So in absolutely gorgeous condition. Now I said earlier about dating the pen to 1953. The nib on this pen, um, the, the imprint on it reads Parker. 
made in USA to the very bottom to the left it has RU-PL and then to the right hand side it has the date 1953 so we can correctly date it made in USA around 1953 some of you will know some of you won't it's what we term as an aerometric filler you can see it's got this little button to the end there um, if I show you the filler somewhere there we go you can see it's got Parker Parker 51 and if we twir twirl it round it gives you the filling instructions on the outer sleeve there so while we've got it out like this I know you people like to see the pens writing um, yeah let's give it a bash so let's dip the nib in the ink and I'm sure you could hear that that lovely sort of gushing noise which is precisely what we want to hear let's put the barrel back on let's bring on our little pad like so and again as always it's the first time it's been written with since I've restored it so let's see how it writes for you people that don't know um, I've actually got as I say I repeat many times I've got large hands and the 51's are very comfortable pens to hold they're not oversized they're not small they're a lovely lovely size again for people with larger hands so let's see how it writes so what we've got A pack of 51. And this one's what we term as the aerometric. Made in the old US of A in 1953. The colour. is cocoa and again quite a desirable colour very sought after indeed does it have any flex no well I say no I don't expect it to the 51's the nibs are quite quite a stiff nib but writing absolutely lovely as you would expect from a Parker 51 it's lovely and smooth there we go some lovely figure of eights there you can see I would say the pen is writing with a fine fine line so there's a writing sample lovely ink flow writing lovely and smooth as I said with a fine fine line beautiful so let's pop the cap back on we'll uh, flush the pen out after the video and we'll leave it at that so there we have it an absolutely stunning home homemade or home customized Parker 51 with this lovely brushed effect cap again a lovely brown moonstone as a jewel to the top which complements this gorgeous cocoa barrel so let's find a new home for it somebody will be over the moon with this gorgeous pen so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget down below don't be shy leave a comment give the video a thumbs up last but not least if you possibly can please support my work down below and last but not least yes 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 we've got this horrible this horrible bug going round we're not far from it so stay home stay safe but for now I'll just say bye bye for now